to show you how to inspect Cummins VGT nozzles. This is a HE351V and 351V. They could be VGs, I don't know. But either way, these turbos, the nozzles are the same. So I'll show you how to inspect that. That's a 400 VG. So I'm going to show you how to know if you should be reusing this nozzle or if you should be replacing it or buying another turbo. The thing I'm looking for here, you can see that it's got all these little damage marks here that are sticking out. And the blades are actually bent a little bit right there. I also look for cracking on these. It's very common that they can crack right at that edge right there. Especially if they get really hot, even if this whole thing is still good, it can start splitting right there if it gets really hot and starts sticking. Some other things with these that can happen is when they start sticking, you get some mushrooming back here. A lot of times that can be filed down so it will go back in and start working properly. The next thing to check for you have these two pins right here. Make sure those are there. And check your other side because you got two more right there. Now we'll flip it back over. And the two pins run to this and this. And the op opposite side here. This one and that one. You shouldn't have like a bunch of excessive play back and forth. I think this one actually looks pretty normal. You can see like there's no mushrooming on this piece right here. It has some movement, but it should. Now one side should move like this and the other side stays pretty firm. It maybe moves a little bit. Same thing on this side. You'll have one side that will move and the other side is kind of firm. It doesn't really move that much. And then just check to make sure you don't have any scarring here. I've never really seen that before. Make sure these are all intact properly and no cracks or anything on that. I don't, I've never seen one crack, but I have seen them break off there sometimes. This curvature right here where these are bent, that's going to make it so it's not going to fully go in and it starts sticking because of that. It's not necessarily what causes them all to stick. That's kind of unusual. What happened with this, something went through the exhaust, most likely a piece of the engine blew up or something, came through the exhaust and then just jammed up in the VGT, like beating it around constantly. Usually what happens when they start jamming, the backside of these get rough and they need to be filed down. And a lot of times you can salvage the original unit. The second common thing that's really common on these is that sometimes one of these pins break off and when that happens you need to just replace the whole thing. Now this one it actually has been worn really bad in this area so this is what also caused a bunch of issues with it jamming probably. You can see it's mushroomed right there it's got too much play and that's probably going to be a major issue anyway but it's already ruined for other reasons that is what I would look for on the other one the other one didn't have that issue this one's not mushroomed or anything but the other one's in worse shape than this one is I mean the other arm here here's the nozzle dropped in now this is a bad one and it should bottom out right here but it's not that's because there's already so much damage on this nozzle. So this nozzle needs to be replaced. You see it won't go on right where those fins are. The, the longer fins are. It won't go in there. You probably could force it, but of course if you do that, then it's not going to operate properly anyway. So in this case, this nozzle needs to be replaced. And sometimes the ring needs to be replaced. This one didn't look like it had any serious damage on it or anything. But you'll know if you try to put a new nozzle in there and it's not going. You can clean it up real good by sandblasting it. Now here's a good nozzle. See what it's supposed to look like. I know it's a little dirty. You can see all the fins are square. There's no damage to them at all. 
no cracking. Usually the issue is on the back side right here. This one actually has a little bit of wear right there. It needs to be filed. You just really have to feel them. See how it's got that flat edge on the back right there? Well, it starts to mushroom over and that needs to be filed right there. So it will go in properly. Same with that one right there. It's got that little shiny edge. That is probably the most common thing that needs to be done on these. Just filing the backs of that. And sometimes on the inside right there and right there on the outside. Just make sure they're straight and square and there's no cracks at the bottom there or cracks anywhere else and that you got your pins in there. The way these nozzle rings work, when they bottom out on the ring on the inside of the turbine housing right there, it's actually touching at this little peg. Let's see. Yeah, that one right there. There's three of those. One there. And one there so it bottoms out on that and that when it's all the way down against this that's when your exhaust brake is being used now these nozzles do have seals here and they're inside the bearing housing so you want to make sure you probably should just go ahead and replace those they're part of our rebuild kit but make sure they're in there correctly see this is like the open end so those need to be properly installed we just hit them in until they bottom out. This is this is the same seal, so that's how it looks like on the other side. And yeah, that one's for the VGT arm that goes in. The, the arm and gear goes in and connects to like a little pivot arm. And then that operates the nozzle thing up and down. Here's the VGT arm right here. This is how the nozzle operates. You also have an outer ring here and an inner ring on the inside that uh, it's in. It's on the bearing housing. Make sure you don't bend those. And you can see how it moves on the inside there. The VGT nozzle is a Cummins patented part, so you're not actually supposed to sell those. I know some people do sell them on eBay and Amazon. So we do have new turbos for those that are upgraded. And we do have rebuild kits for these turbos for the VE, which is 2007 to 2012. The VG, which HE300 VG, there's two different versions. There's a 2013 to 2018. And then there's the 2019 to 2025 fifth gen. That turbo is a little bit different. So I made a separate rebuild kit just for that turbo as well. So there's three different, three different versions of rebuild kits for these turbos.